Hello, it's me, Lorenzo Butcham Hubbard, hashtag the gay socialite, hashtag the brickle socialite. And today I'm going to talk to you about one of the other things that I think that it takes to be successful in life and then successful in your career. And that's remembering to say thank you. Thank you to yourself. Thank you to yourself for all the hard work that it has taken to get you to where you are. And giving yourself permission to say exactly how great you are. One of the things that I find so often living in major metropolitan cities and traveling around the world is that so, I meet so many amazing people who almost seem embarrassed and who almost seem uh, out of place uh, with, within themselves when it comes time to give themselves a compliment. And I, I understand that we are, many, many people are humble and they just do not want to seem uh, conceited. And I appreciate that. But there is a difference between being uh, uh, conceited and being humble and also recognizing the hard work that you have put in, the hard work that it has taken to get you to where you are today to be the amazing person that you've become. I work very hard to become Lorenzo Woodrum Hubbard, to be the person that people see every day when I leave my home to be the person that my family enjoys. Yeah, all of this is, has, has been um, staying the same person and from the time that I was a little child to being a teenager, to being a young adult, to being a grown man, to making sure that I, the things that I liked about myself, I kept those things. And, and, and those things are so important, but the, the thing that's the most important is that we have really good things that can happen to us in life. And we have really bad things that can happen and they can change us. And I'm gonna say, tell you, 18 years ago, a lot of you don't know this, but some of the people who've known me for many years, you do. 18 years ago, uh, I was at the top of my profession, the one of the number one designers in the city where I was living and clients all over the world. I was living in a huge mansion, beautiful boyfriend, uh, fabulous cars, fabulous parties with the best looking and most known people in the whole city and blah, blah, blah. And then life happened. <laughs> life happened. My boyfriend and I broke up and one week later, I was the victim of a violent crime. And this particular violent crime left me without the ability to walk for, on my own for almost two years. I, it was terrible. I'm gonna tell you, when I came home from uh, the hospital, maybe about six weeks later, and I'm in a wheelchair, and I'm sitting in this huge mansion all by myself, and mind you, I had my family, my mother and my father, and my sister who lived in Texas at the time, my ex who still came over to see me, my best friend who lived in Atlanta. But all of these people who were around me constantly, every time I went out, who told me how amazing I was and how fabulous I was and how beautiful I was and how much they loved my work and all these clients that I have created amazing work for, nothing, no one. So I realized, and I had to realize that, uh, oh my God, I had to find, figure out what was going on here because this was a super high point and a super low point all at the same time. It felt like within a month, really within a day, it felt like. And so I remember sitting there at this time and trying to assess what was important to me. Uh, for the people who know, I left the city I was living in and I've never been back. I never felt a need or a want to go back because I just, um, uh, I don't wanna say the city broke my heart because that's not what happened. I wanna say that I just realized that there were bigger and better things waiting for me and that uh, sometimes better, bad things happen 
for you to take a chance and walk out on faith and recognize who you are and all the hard work that you have put in to get you to where you were. And that's what I thought about. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm sitting here wondering and worrying about who's coming to see me and who's not coming to see me. I worked my butt off to be Lorenzo Butcher Hubbard, the person that's sitting here, even though I was in a wheelchair. I worked my butt off to be that person and I was not going to allow that particular incident, that particular criminal, that particular situation to define who I was. So all of this came back to me and the reason I'm sharing this is I was cleaning out my library here at my home uh, and I found my a journal. I keep journals and I found a journal from 18 years ago. And this particular journal is dated October 22nd, 2000. October 22nd is the day before my birthday. So my birthday is October 23rd. So this is from 18 years ago. And I stapled in the front of it, I stapled a card, a thank you card. And the thank you card says to me, from me, because sometimes we forget. So I wrote myself a thank you card 18 years ago, and I'll share with you what I wrote to myself 18 years ago at a point when many people probably would have given up. As I was writing thank you cards, I realized I forgot the most important person, me. Thank you, Lorenzo, for finding the light at the darkest times for eating right, drinking little, never smoking a cigarette, or trying any drug of any kind. For demanding the respect of others, even if they don't like you. <laughs> Thank you for redefining diva into a male term and then working every day to set the scale even a little higher. Thank you for having a kind, loving and warm heart, ready to give of itself at a moment's notice. Thank you for taking self-examination to create a better you. Thank you for seeing the good in others even when they don't take the time to do the same for you. Thank you for changing the things about yourself that needed it and standing firm behind the ones that didn't. Most of all, thanks for finally watering your spiritual garden and being Lorenzo Butram Hubbard. This is something that I wrote myself, and even though I wrote it 18 years ago, I think that it is something that applies today because I am the exact same person. And I would like to challenge every last one of you to do the exact same thing. Write yourself a thank you card and write yourself a thank you card thanking yourself for the things that you actually like about yourself, the things that you wouldn't change, the things that you would change, and maybe open it 10 years from now. I wrote this at the lowest point ever. And even today, when I have survived that, I survived that, I am here standing, you know what? I'm the shit. I am, I, I am unapologetically Lorenzo. And there are some people when I say that I'm the shit or I'm Lorenzo bitch, they don't understand. I have worked my ass off to be Lorenzo. So I'm sure that there are other people out there that you've worked your ass off to be you. And you deserve to say I am blah, blah, blah or I am that, because you worked your butt off to be all of that. And I'm sure it wasn't easy. And you deserve to write yourself a thank you card. And I tell you, when it comes to your career, when it comes to everything that you're trying to do, when you're unapologetically yourself, when you give yourself the permission to be absolutely fabulous, and you know how to say thank you to yourself, just wait and see how many people line up to say thank you to you as well and want to be in your presence. I'm Lorenzo Butcher Hubbard, hashtag 
the gay socialite, hashtag the Brickle Socialite. And this has been another week with me, just sharing love and some little tidbits of things that hopefully will make your life a success as well. Loves and kisses, darling. See you until I see you next time.